Tyler, thanks. We are learning more about two IMPD shootings that happened last month. The department released edited body cam video of both. And according to our records, IMPD officers have discharged their weapons seven times this year, resulting in six fatalities. CBS Forest Charles Benberry joins us now with what the IMPD camera video shows, what it does and does not show about these shootings. Charles? Well, Melissa, good morning. Both of these shootings took place in May, one in Apollo Way and the other in North Broadway. Now, we do want to warn you this video does contain sounds of gunfire and may be disturbing to some. The first shooting happened on Indy's northwest side. A man there claims he was shot by his roommate, 26-year-old Kelvin Chandler. An IMPD officer spotted Chandler nearby on Apollo Way. IMPD video shows officers looking for Chandler, who police said had a gun in his hand. 30 minutes later, an officer found Chandler, which led to this exchange of gunfire. The PD officer then tried to help Chandler before medics arrived, but Chandler later died at the hospital. The original shooting victim survived and no one else was hurt. IMPD says other video released yesterday shows an armed man, possibly in the middle of a mental health episode, shot and killed by an officer. That happened on Broadway Street in early May. Now, like the other videos, shows an armed person pointing a gun at a police officer, though the man's motive might be in question. Ring doorbell camera video shows when Lamar Qualls mounted the porch of the home and engaged in confusion and nonsensical conversation with the resident while armed with a pistol. IMPD officers were still on their way, and when an officer Ivan Flick arrives in the front yard, you can't hear it, but he tells Qualls to, quote, drop the gun. Now, we don't have video of the shooting from Officer Flick's body-worn camera due to an either an automatic technical limitation with the device or he forgot to turn it on, but ring doorbell camera footage shows Flick telling Qualls to raise his hands, and when he does, with a gun pointed towards the officer, Flick fires several times. Now, last week, the U.S. Attorney advised the community of Department of Justice inquiry that's underway regarding IMPD's recent officer-involved shootings. I'm Charles Benberry, CBS4 News.